we are going to start uh, plotting as 2045270 C. He was born in Nicopolis, Egypt. He was an Egyptian Roman philosopher. He traveled to Alexandria. He was considered the most influential philosopher and he founded this new Neoplatonism. Uh, he was uh, greatly inspired by Plato. Uh, as we know, Plato was a Greek philosopher and he gave his philosophy Platonism. Uh, so Plotinus was, a conceit, uh, was considered the great philosopher of antiquity. So uh, how we connect his uh, philosophy with the philosophy of Plato what is difference between Platonism and new new Platonism? We are coming to that. I, as I told you earlier in my first lecture about impressionism, basically they are of the opinion that uh, uh, when man is born, oh, his mind is completely. Uh, empty. So there is a concept of tabula risa. A tabula risa in the sense that man comes with empty mind and whatever he learns, he learns from senses, perception, experience. So this is, uh, you, you see the concept. This concept, empiricism, basically against the concept of Platonism. Plato says abstract things, abstract ideas were present somewhere else. So man is born with innate ideas. So you can say man comes in this world. So to some extent, his mind was having those ideas, having the concept of those abstract things. And then he will discover those things uh, uh, in this in this world you can so this is the basic difference between platonism and empiricist philosophers so i am going Plato to objected it just let me complete it and uh, i want to uh, take your questions in the second please note down your question if you have any question I would like to explain it to you in the second session and uh, uh, then uh, you are more, most welcome. Yes. So what is Platonism and what is new Platonism? Platonism basically drives from the ideas of Plato, the Greek philosopher 228 BC to 247 BC. What Platonism is? Platonism affirms the existence of abstract ideas or objects. Now, Plato thought that uh, uh, there were, before birth of human beings, before the creation of this world, there were abstract objects, there were abstract ideas, which are asserted to exist in a third real, realm distinct from both the sensible external world. So he is of the opinion that we are not, we are living in an external world and we are not aware of those extra, those abstract objects, those creative ideas, those innate ob objects, innate ideas. We are not aware of that. As uh, I told you about uh, the consciousness and uh, unconsciousness of Freud. Freud is talking about consciousness and uh, he's talking about unconsciousness as well. And from the in internal world of consciousness. So Plato thinks that there were, before our birth, there were abstract objects and there are abstract objects and there were ideas, innate ideas, before birth, we were not aware of that. So you can say that there is uh, uh, some place, some space, 
where these ideas occur where these abstract objects are present but we are not aware of uh, those abstract objects or those ideas we are not aware of the aware of those abstract objects in the sense that our consciousness basically are not aware of uh, those abstract objects as we know that from where we have come the question arises here now, apart from you see that the answer the legion is giving god has created is uh, created us but we can ask the question this is an objective way from where we have come basically when we use our senses when we use our perception we don't know from where we have come we haven't got the ideas so uh, you you can say we have got only the concept the idea from the religion that we have been created from uh, 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 we have been created by god there is kun and then fayakun and we are not aware of that our perception our experiences basically are not aware of the fact so you can say that plato is of the opinion that uh, beyond this physical world abstract world also exist and for which we haven't got the complete knowledge so it means man comes to this world having certain idea having certain intuition having certain things and then he realizes these things over here with the help of his experience and perception so what is new platonism basically new platonism drives from plato uh, drives from plato sorry this i have written the platonism so his a uh, new platonism basically drives from platonism so what is this new platonism uh, the summit of existence of the one or the good the source of all things now you the, the same concept but plotinus molds it he manipulates it he is of the opinion that there is existence of one or good and we can't comprehend it so there is a one the good the source of all things what this one is basically if we interpret it if we narrate it this one is god this good is god now what what was the concept of god in the days of uh, 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 this this uh, philosopher Uh, the concept of god was or uh, ji small jisko hum log devta bolte hain jisko basically greek ke paas bhi khuda ka concept tha but they shaped it in different way the god of sun god is of beauty and this you be because they had got the different concept agar for example jo hai hame concept nahi diya jata quran sharif se ya होली प्रॉफिट की जिंदगी से तो हम लोग भी अक्स कर रहे होते कि खुदा किस तरह है कैसे है कैसे क्योंकि हैजन तो हमें क्लियर कट कॉन्सेप्ट है खुदा और उसके रसूल के बारे में सो दे हैड गॉट दी कॉन्सेप्ट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एज वेल इन वर्चू इन गुडनेस एंड मेडिटेशन द सोल है पावर टू इलिवेट इट सेल्फ टू अटेन यूनियन विद द वर्ल्ड now this is very important as we know that uh, uh there, there is a concept of uh, in christianity there is a concept of fall of adam and you as we uh, milton's paradise lost basically Mil milton's paradise lost is based on bible christianity christian ideas of fall of adam paradise lost he thinks that uh, we human beings basically lost the paradise and then he has written the paradise regained 
how the paradise will be regained now he thinks that because he's a christian he thinks that and he is of the opinion that our christians have got the view that they will regain the paradise with the help of teachings following the sunnah of jesus christ so they have their, their, their concept so in this very concept you can one is god good that is good but the soul is very important and it has got power to elevate ourselves human beings and union with the one so it means that you can say how you how you are, you will interpret it our soul has come from one from divine and it has got great power to again reconnect it with the one this is platonism a new platonism basically new platonism is not something new so he he combines uh, the ideas he has uh, uh, got from plato or platonism uh, from the teachings of plato and just he molds it or adds it uh, in something new so this is uh, a uh, new platonism basically is a combination of uh, the philosophy of plato and uh, and and uh, plotinism yeah uh, plotinus you can say that so this is the difference between platonism and new uh, platonism this is this is the second one background of plotinus theory Platonius, uh, uh, Plotinus uh, combined reason, spirituality, mysticism, philosophy, contemplation, action in order to understand of reality. So how, how we understand reality? There is also concept of absolute reality. Now absolute reality means perfect reality. How we try to understand? Now it means that reason when we combine reason spirituality jab hum log jo hai spirituality ko reason ko uh, just reason is based on cause and effect spirituality uh, jo hai wo soul ke base pe hota hai uh, mysticism have mysticism means having union with god having union with god as uh, our mystics our sufis they have the, the same concept we come to that and philosophy contemplation how you contemplate things how things come in your mind how things occur in your mind and then keeping in view all this how you act in order to understand reality so well, it means that there is self awareness you realize you realize your importance you realize your purpose you realize your self uh, image so because you are something that is divine as i i can quote from uh, bible bible says man is true image of god on earth again quran says man is vice agent of god on earth allah on earth so in bible god uh, man is image of uh, god on earth so man is something divine in quran allah says man is vice agent insaan khuda ka allah ka numainda hai so you can say that man is reflection of god on earth so god is merciful so man has to act keeping in view the mercy this is the same concept is running uh, you can say take take pity on creation and the creator will take pity on you now the, these are the concept mysticism means union with absolute or god knowledge attains through contemplation and self surrender now you see that you you you, you surrender yourself to the will of god you contemplate this world uh, uh, with the help of uh, soul you have with the help of wisdom you have and the union with god is a great wisdom and this is the region 
the same legion is trying to explain it to you. You have no will except the will of God because you must have faith in God. Faith in God 100%. It means that you should not you should not have apprehensions. You should not have doubt. Now, how you can define faith? You can define faith. Iqbal says, uh, your faith should be like Ibrahim on a stick. Now, you can define faith keeping in view, quoting the view, uh, quoting the example of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Uh, how was his faith uh, when they were trying to burn him? So you can say that uh, there was a great fire before him. And what he did, he had the great faith in Allah, in God. Because he knew the fact that God will save him. This is the faith. So Sufis basically, mystics, they have the union with absolute God and they have got their own philosophy. So Plotinus, he learned Plato's philosophy and tried to achieve self-awareness and ultimately enlighten men through it. Now, this is the main focus of mysticism that you have to connect yourself with God. You have to realize yourself with the God. As the same concept you see in the metric uh, in the poem of uh, a metric textbook, uh, just uh, the voice of God. I climb the tallest part of Jesus building uh, in order to have voice of God. Where God ordered me to go down again because He lives among the people. To love God, to love His uh, uh, creation, to love God, to love His uh, your fellow being. This is and this is the true enlightenment. Word. When we conclude the life of uh, Holy Prophet peace be upon him, uh, you, our beloved Rasul. What we learn from that, Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, had got the greater compassion. He was the, the best compassionate person or prophet in the world. So he was merciful. So this is, you see that this, this is the concept they, they have got. So his ideas influenced Christian theology as well. So, what are uh, the points, elements, the components in new Platonism? The concept of beauty and ugliness and evil. Now, what is the difference between beauty and ugliness? And uh, how Plotinus describes and interprets it? Plotinus says beauty comes from divine. Uh, you can divine something. God, having wisdom, all these things. It exists in all things derived from one. Now here, one is God. But it's a small g as, as we know that. But we can relate it. God is always one in all legions. But they mold it, they shape it in another way. That is another thing. But God is only one in all legions. That is to say in all parts as a whole. Now, this is uh, the, the, the same concept uh, running with the scientists. Now, the, the same concept is that uh, this world is controlled by supernatural element. And that supernatural element, you can call it supreme. You can call it God. You can call it uh, whatever you call it. But they have also this uh, concept. So something that is beautiful is something that is divine, the one. There is a oneness. Now, the concept of oneness is also beauty, is based on beauty, something that is beautiful. 
as you know that uh, the starting of Islam, uh, you see that uh, is also oneness of Allah. And this is the most beautiful thing you can, uh, the, you can preach, you, the prophet uh, uh, taught to the people. What declaration of oneness of God. This is also the most beautiful thing in, in, in our religion and, and in the whole universe. Something that is outside of divine thought it ugly. Now Plotinus thinks that he is of the opinion that something that is beautiful is a divine. Something that is ugly is outside of divine. Now, how you interpret it and how you know it, how you understand it. As we know that there is a concept of uh, heaven and hell. So heaven is something beautiful. Hell is something ugly. Now, what hell is? Hell is basically outside of wisdom. Outside of heaven. There is a hell. God has created hell. But hell is something ugly. Something ugly, something pathetic, something sinful. So, who lives in hell? Satan. Devil lives in hell. So, devil is darkness. So, how, how we interpret it. So, outside of divine. So, everything that comes in the universe, everything that comes in the universe, so, is a beautiful. Because, it is in the circle of the divine. It is in the circle of one. Something that is that is not grasped by idea or reason is outside the divine. So what is divine? Something that is uh, comprehended by. Something that is in the circle of that idea. And what this idea is? Idea. Now here Plotinus thinks that idea and reason are the same. And basically, this idea or this reason is the reason, the idea of divine, of one. And this is the wisdom of this whole universe. And outside of the divine, something that is outside of the divine is uh, ugly, is ugliness. So we can, we, we can say that uh, God uh, uh, loves uh, those things that are beautiful. As, as we know, in uh, <clears throat> in Allah Jamilun wa Yuhabul Jamal, God is beautiful and love beautiful things. In Allah Jamilun wa Yuhabul Jamal, and declared to be absolutely ugly. So something that is outside of the divine, something that is out of the blessing of God, is ugly and uh, pathetic. You can say that. So this there is a difference between. Beauty and ugliness. So evil, sin is ugliness. Good deeds, compassion, kindness, welfare of the people is beauty. So beauty is as natural as our good health. And ugliness is as alien, outside, or evil as disease. So this is the differentiation between beauty. So beauty is natural, like our good health. And ugliness is alien, that is outside, that is separated. And as hell is separated and hell is created and Satan and devil is separated. So he is of the opinion that beauty is ultimate good and kind of light. So from where this light comes? From one, the light comes. From God, light comes. From wisdom, the light comes. So, from the one source, the light comes. So, darkness is considered as evil. So, light comes as a blessing. So, darkness is as an evil, as uh, I have given you the concept of heaven and hell. So, heaven is something blessing, something light, something good. And uh, hell is something darkness and something that is outside of divine. So what is the, the next concept uh, apart from ugliness and, and, and beauty? The concept of one in Neoplatonism. Now, what is one? It is beyond beauty. 
Now, as we know that there are certain degrees, there are certain categories. Now, if one, the concept of one is beyond beauty. Now, what happens in uh, Alexander Fleming, uh, so essay on men? Alexander Fleming thinks that uh, animals uh, know something, they have got feelings, even the image or, of uh, things occur in their mind. But man knows more than animals. Now, what happens? A man is providing food to the animal, an animal becomes happy. But man knows that he is going to sacrifice that animal, but animal does not know. So angels do know about the fate of man, about the fate of this universe, about the fate of this world. But man does not know what is going to happen in future, tomorrow, after five hours, or you see, day after tomorrow, whatever you say. So angels know more than men. And finally, God knows everything more than angels. As, as, as you know that God is supreme in you. So there are categories, there are degrees of knowledge. So one is beyond beauty. It is supreme, formless, and without magnitude. Now, what is this one is? Basically, one is God. One is divine. One is intellectual beauty. One is supreme. And one is everything. The one is pure in existence. It is nothing, but it is everything. It is nothing in the sense that you, as you see that our, uh, uh, you see the Kalma Tayyaba start with La Ila, means there is nothing. In order to emphasize that, there is no God but one. So you, you can say that it's nothing in the sense that uh, in the first place, there is no one. But it is everything. That uh, oneness is everything. Nothing in, is compared to one by uh, uh, Plotinus. Uh, one is the primal ground of all good. Or there is a triad. Intellect, 